everyone, welcome to Eat Me Recipes. Today I'll be showing you how to make this beef chow mein. Rinse and cut 250 grams of beef into strips and place it into a bowl. To the beef, add in half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon chili flakes, one tablespoon corn flour or cornstarch, Add 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce. And 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Mix everything well. Set aside and allow to marinate until ready to use. Next, I'm using the julienne stir-fry vegetables from Woolworths. This has sliced peppers, red onions, spinach, butternut and carrot patterns. I found this more convenient to use, but feel free to cut them up from whole or add in any other veg that you prefer. I'm using 200 grams of the vegetables. Heat up a wok or pan on medium heat. I'm using the 34cm Schumann Pro wok. Add 1 tablespoon sesame oil. One tablespoon vegetable oil and one tablespoon crushed garlic. Stir the garlic into the oils. Allow it to simmer for one minute. After one minute, add in the marinated beef. Give it a stir. Allow the beef to cook for 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, add in quarter teaspoon salt. Add in a drizzle of honey. And add in the vegetables. Mix until all the ingredients are well combined. Cover and allow to cook for 8 minutes or until the veggies are almost soft. After 8 minutes, give it a quick stir. Add in 250 grams of egg noodles. I'm using fresh egg noodles so there's no need to cook it beforehand. Add 1 tablespoon light soy sauce and 1 tablespoon dark soy sauce. Mix everything well. Allow it to simmer for 3 minutes to infuse flavours. Thereafter, you can remove it from the heat and plate. Garnish with some sesame seeds. And this beef chow mein is ready to enjoy. It is absolutely delicious and can store in the refrigerator for up to a week. That's if they can last that long because in my home this dish gets completely wiped out. Enjoy and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more recipes. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below and there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section and I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!